welcome for the day, uh, Tuesday, November 24th, uh, for the word for you today. We thank you for tuning in. Um, let's bow in a word of prayer, and then we'll start with our lesson. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time we want to spend in your word. We thank you for being our God, Lord, and watching over us. Lord, we pray, pray for you. Uh, bless us uh, according to your will. And as we study your word, uh, let us uh, lean on your word to what um, you want us to have, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts, Lord. We thank you and we praise you and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, it's Tuesday, November 24th. Subject is, he's not far from each of us. And this comes from Acts 17, 27, New King James Version. Lean on God's presence and his people. The Bible says, God is not far from each one of us. God does not play favorites. From the masses of the city avenues to the isolated villagers in the valley of the jungles, all people can enjoy God's presence, but many don't. They plot through their life as if there were no God to love them, as if their only strength was their own, as if their only solution comes from within, not above. The life God, the, they live godless lives, but you don't have to do that. You can, uh, one, learn on God, lean on God's presence. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, Hebrews 13, 5, New King James Version. Lean on God's people. For there are two or three gathered together in my name. I am there in the midst of them, Matthew 18, 20, New King James Version. When Moses and the Israelite battle and the Amalekites, God commissioned Joshua to lead the fight in the valley below while Moses ascended to the hill to pray. But he did not go alone. He took two lieutenants, Aaron and Hur. While Joshua led the physical combat, Moses engaged in the spiritual fight. Aaron his, and Hur stood on either side of the leaders to hold up his arm in the battle of prayer. The Israelites prevailed because Moses prayed, and Moses prevailed because he had others to pray for him. Just as the army calls in air support, you can call in prayer support. When Jesus said, if two of you agree on, on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Verse 19, New King James Version. So lean on God's presence and his people. Amen. So the Bible says, God is not far from each of us. God does not play favorites. All people can enjoy God's presence, but many don't. And so said. So pray for me. Lean on God's presence. For he himself has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Lean on God's people, for where two or three gather together in my name, I will be in the midst. So we need to be together. When Moses and the Israelite battled the Amalekites, God commissioned Joshua to lead the fight in the valley below while Moses ascended the hill and prayed. But he didn't go alone, so he didn't go alone. He took his two lieutenants, Aaron and Hur. While Joshua was physical combat, Moses engaged in spiritual fight. Aaron and Hur stood on either side of the leaders to hold up his arm in the battle of prayer. The Israelites prevailed because Moses prayed, and Moses prevailed because he had others to pray with him. Call in support. Uh, Jesus said, if two or three agree, on earth concerning uh, uh, anything that they ask, it will be done for them my father, uh, by my Father in heaven. So lean on God's presence and his people. So that's important that uh, we don't do the battle by ourselves. That we have others praying for us, holding up the banner. Uh, and, you know, Lord, we'll have the victory. We got the victory in Jesus, so we already won the battle. Uh, 
keep on praying through every circumstance. Just have people pray for you and so uh, you be strong in the Lord and uh, you have the victory. Uh, whatever you, God's will will he'll bring you through. And so we thank you for this lesson and uh, we'll see you uh, on Wednesday for our next lesson. We'll have a blessed day today and uh, we'll see you next time.